Welcome back to Asleep at the Wheels Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. This is episode 28. In this episode, we're going to clean up several side quests that I've had. Yeah, good. I've had cluttering up my uh, quest log. Try and clean things now? out a bit. And our first one is going to be with this uh, young lady over here on this dock. The Lost Astrolabe, whatever the hell that is. All right, here we go. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness, yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see... I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. All right, we're going for I a do dip. I hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. I love how my character just points out the obvious every time he starts a quest. What the hell, man? <laughs> it's so terrible. It's like he's given the instructions, what to do, where to go, and then he just repeats it immediately. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. And we see nothing underwater. Got a piece of uh, equipment, though, a downgrade. Always good to have a downgrade. There's like five spots out here, it looks like. Ah, we got it. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I'm gonna check the other spots too. There's one left here.
And another gear downgrade. Awesome. Well, they're always useful to sell at the vendor. Get a little extra money. Goodness knows money's hard to come by in this game. And we will uh, dog paddle our way back to the dock here. I gotta go down here. Can't climb up on the dock there. Lovely. Alright, here we go. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You'd do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. All right, quest complete. 180 XP. All right, we've got uh, another quest really close here. It's just right up the road here. There is a goblin. You are here. Good. And he's obviously got some issue. Here we go. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you? Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Has Ramrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now, but they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. All right, we've got a quest marker on the map. I don't have a potion ready. Yeah, you never know. I have no idea what we're going to encounter here. Look at the old broom up. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. It's not that far away, a couple hundred meters. Pretty hazy out here, a lot of uh, mist. Past the roads, I'm on the right track. A lot of mist in these trees. An encampment. 
This must be it. A lot of games do that to limit uh, the uh, draw distance. All right, sounds like goblins. Let's see if we can stealth them. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. That's a pretty big encampment. There's one up there. Not sure how to get up there. There's that dude over there. Let's see if we can get him. Uh oh, somebody spotted me. Yep. Well, battle time. Here we go. Get a potion up. We'll get another potion up. Now we're going to smoke these boys. Potions worn off. Not quite. We'll do a little more focus. Here we go. And a maxima potion just for grins. Boom. Try and wipe them out as quickly as possible. Is that it? I uh, know. There's there's somebody else over here. Here we go. Goodbye. <laughs> And poof. That was quite something. Now to free arms <laughs> caught. Some of those death animations are pretty funny. Alright, I don't see the carts around here. Rebellion. Quick look for loot. Anything with a green loot marker on it, that's going to be a heal potion, and I'm full up on those, so don't need more. Ah, here's a gate. Open it up. Quite an enchantment. The cops are returning to arm. Uh, that's pretty funny. Revelio. There's a couple of uh, chests here. Gear downgrade. Well, stairs to nowhere. That's nice. Part of why I run into so many gear downgrades is because I've upgraded all of my gear pretty much to the max. So, uh... Anything else around here? What is this? Some kind of boiler? <laughs> it's almost like steampunk. And yeah, I think that's about it here for now. There's a uh, Merlin trial there, though. All right, we're going to fast travel on back. Come on, map. Work. Thank you. Right there. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Yes, it looks like a place right out of a storybook, and uh, Natty's finally gone from that spot. All right, here we go. If you're here for my way, on, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. 
I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. All right, our next side quest is A Thief in the Night. All the best. Carded Away is finished. And A Thief in the Night, we'll have to travel for that to another village. All right, we have arrived. Nice looking windmill there. Uh, there should be a vendor down here that we need to talk to to start the quest. And he's, uh, where the heck is he? Oh, there he is. Out of the way, you old hag. Here we go. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Are you sure Katrin is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Katrin. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. Why would Katrin come back to rob the Hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? How should I know? She always despised this place, resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. I should be going now. Thank you. I'd keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Cratchering will steal the eyebrows off your... I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Revelio. All right, it is night time. We can see the trail of uh, stolen gold that we need to follow. Guessing it continues on the other side of this river here. All right, da, da, da. Over here, Rebellios. There we go. More piles of gold. One gold per pile. <laughs> yeah, we ain't getting rich off of this quest, that's for Rebellion. sure. All right, some more up here. Oh, God. I must be getting closer. Yeah, it looks like a goblin encampment. For me. All right, we'll invis up and see if we can stealth these guys. Can't really see where they're at on the mini map because all those stupid icons covering up their icons. Uh oh, well, 
They saw me. <laughs> All right. Just three of them, it looks like. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye to that guy, and goodbye to you, sir. And that's it. Clan Rock has fooled you, Revelio. Yeah, healing potion. That's why I couldn't loot it. I'm already full up on those. Four galleons, yes. Six galleons. I'm not looting that box. I'll come back for that later. All right. Where is our gold trail? Eh, I guess it continues over here. Oh, there's some mines here that we could explore. All right, like I said, I'll come back to this encampment and pick up the, uh, the extra bits that I'm not gonna bother with here. Another heal potion. And up around here. I'm trying to figure out what direction to go from here. Um, I'm guessing it's off. There's another uh, Merlin trial right here. They had in the last one. Yeah, I'm guessing it went this way. Yep. There's another one right there. Right there. Revelio. Gold. Not much gold, but... I don't think it's really intended to be. It's just a trail for me to follow to find this thief. Da, da, da. One galleon, two galleons now. Rebellion. Okay, I guess we're going up here. Damn, there's a ton of these. This is a really long trail. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Really? Dangerous. I don't see any red arrows on the minimap. Well, there could be something over here by this trial. Hmm. Revelio. Again, I still don't see anything. There's something over there. But we're staying true to our course here. Oh, I see red now. Lots of red. An intruder! An intruder! How, how can they see me? I'm a million miles away from them. <laughs> All right, we will invis up. Revenue. In case we can stealth them. One of the best meals oh, it goes away from the camp. I guess I don't have to fight those guys. Huh? Some eggs. Take those. Those are always good for breakfast. I heard a noise, like some kind of animal. It wasn't capturing Haggerty after all. Oh, it's a Niffler. That's the thief. <laughs> that's funny. I guess that's the Niffler's den. All right, let's see if we can find the heirloom. Have a look up here. There's more 
gold trail up here, some mushrooms. More gold. Oh, a pile of treasure and the heirloom. All right, a little more gold there. All right, we got to capture the Niffler. I don't know where he went. Not over here, it doesn't look like. Nope. See something blue down there, but I think that's part of the Merlin trial. Where the heck did this guy go? Maybe he's back in his lair here. Revelio. I hear him. Oh, there he is, up there. There you little bastage. I wonder how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief and his heirloom's coming home. <laughs> Alright, we can fast travel back. Right to there. What are you up to now? Alright, let's find the vendor. And here we go. If one more person asks me about her... Uh, <sighs> I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. I what a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least they can. All right, the last quest we're going to do here is evasive maneuvers. I've actually already done what the quest wants, but I haven't done the actual quest itself. Uh, but I'll show you what's up with it anyway. It uh, actually is an introduction to the arenas, the battle arenas in this game. So, um, we have to go to another village in order to uh, get things started. At least I think so. Yeah. And, um, since I've already done the, uh, the actual thing it wants me to do, which is to go to the arena, I'll still go there so you can see what the arena looks like. Uh, but there's a bunch of glass of aces when you arrive there, and you're supposed to break them all to open up the arena. All right, here we go. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Wish I had the end. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again, I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... 
Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. All right, evasive maneuver. So uh, we're going to jump on the old broom. We're going to head right over to here, which is where the arena is. And uh, it doesn't even give me a quest trail for this. Uh, I just happen to know where the arena is because I've already done uh, a few battles in the arenas. Arenas are really good if you want to get experience very quickly. Um, you make a bunch of money, you get some uh, experience. If you find the arenas are a little too tough for you, you can switch the game difficulty down to the uh, story mode, and that'll make them real simple for you to get through. All right, we have arrived. This is where the arena is at. And normally you would come here and there would be 20 vases scattered around these ruins. And you would just break the vases with a, uh, with a regular basic cast. But now you can see that uh, the quest wants us to go back now, because I've already broken all the vases. Travel broadens Ugh. the mind. She never shuts up. Here we go. What do we have here? A demigod. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. All right, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thank you so much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. If you like the videos, please press like. That helps other folks on YouTube find the videos. And until the next video, make sure to have fun. Don't take life too seriously. It's pretty short. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye now.